Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watch You Want and thanks for logging on. Subscribe if you like these videos and if you like the watches, all watches portrayed on our channel are actual inventory for sale on our website, Watch You Want. Now this IWC Big Pilots Watch St. Exupery reference 5421, 46 millimeters in 18 karat rose gold is one of only 500 made in rose gold for the 2009 special edition model year by IWC. Since 2005, a partner of the Antoine de Saint-Exupéry Foundation to benefit global youth, IWC has released a series of tribute models to the pioneering aviator, author, inventor, and humanitarian. And in 2009, a series of the classical big pilot's watches paid tribute to the man. Now, this example in 18 karat rose gold is dimensionally identical to the standard big pilot's watch, but in its warmth, in its details, it has a character that's all its own. But first, the fit. Now, on my wrist, six and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, you can see that the fit is very much big pilot. Broad, flowing lugs, yet reasonably short to the extent that the watch will fit a smaller wrist. Down to about six inches circumference or 15 centimeters, you can definitely wear this one comfortably. Now, the case back has a little bit of a cupped shape to it, so it nestles into your wrist just a little bit, which reduces the effective height of the watch on the wrist. Nominally 16 millimeters tall, you can see it does nestle, snuggle down just a little bit. So on the wrist, it's only about 14 millimeters. And because it does have tumble home and a little bit of inward curvature to its bezel, you should be able to wear this one under a long sleeve. This is a watch that'll go well with a sport coat or a blazer. Maybe not the absolute tightest of dress cuffs, but if you can pull it off with your sleeve, it's got the style to live up to formal attire. Now, the nice thing about this watch is it's got the precious metal heft and the wrist presence of a large sports watch, but the refinement and the ergonomic comfort of an upscale dress reference. Now, let's face it, 46 millimeters, this one's never going to be discreet, but the bottom line is it is very tasteful, very refined. And a big part of that is the calfskin leather strap. Now, you can see the exquisite work on this strap done to create an upscale ambiance to do justice to the man, the history of the IWC Pilot's Watch, and also the fact that in the modern day and age, IWC makes tool watches, yes, but they are luxury products with finish that's appropriate to the price point. Beautiful single deployment clasp, rose gold, very substantial, closes with a very satisfying snick, precision manufactured like the rest of the watch. IWC does make its own cases on the Rhine and it does make its own clasps. So very much a manufacturer product from the clasp to the case to the movement itself. Now this large and supple calfskin strap is a really nice piece to pair with the rose gold case because it's dark brown tones, it's contrasting hand stitch, and as you can see it's beefy substance are really the equal of this large vintage aviator style watch. Now, signature elements of the Antoine de Saint-Exupéry edition include the beautiful applied rose gold numerals with luminova plots, the matching hands, the Antoine de Saint-Exupéry signature at 9 o'clock, as well as the engraving on the case back featuring the image of the man himself in aviator's garb. One of 500 made, everything about this watch is just a little bit special, as befits a man whose range of talents included everything from engineering to literature. Now, you can see that the dial itself, in addition to the Saint-Exupéry upscale treatments, the details that define it, it's been given a very striking color palette. Now, you can see the white print contrasts dramatically against the metallic sunburst cocoa dial. Now, the dial does have a very pronounced grain radiating outward from the junction of the hands. I'm going to try to capture some of that with the reflection of the light on the dial but the light box in the iPhone can only reveal so much. That's why I emphasize that if you really love the look of these watches on our channel, the high resolution images on our website are even better. And believe me, it's not close. Now, the watch also features a number of elements that are consonant with the tone of the case and that deep, dark, almost cocoa chocolate brown of the metallic dial. You can see the applied rose gold frame for the date at six o'clock and the high contrast of the silvered power reserve indicator adds a unique element to counterbalance the signature at nine o'clock. Seven days power reserve courtesy of an IWC caliber 51111. It's an in-house automatic winding caliber over 37 millimeters in diameter. It's a huge piece built very much in the image of almost, if you can, 
imagine an automatic winding pocket watch that's very much in the style of what's inside this case. Now IW fits all of the big pilots with two special refinements. One, an anti-magnetic soft iron shield around the movement to shield it against obviously magnetic flux, but if you're not in a flight environment, it's just as useful in the presence of high-powered speakers, subwoofers, computers, home entertainment systems, and wiring rooms. And the other refinement, and this one's more specific to aviation, is blowout protection in the event of explosive decompression. So even though this watch does feature a screw-down onion-style crown and six ATM water resistance, nevertheless, if you are in an environment that depressurizes immediately, the crystal of the watch is not going to blow out explosively. A nice refinement, like a helium release valve on a dive watch, you may never need it, but it's nice to know the engineers thought of it ahead of time. Performance, you don't need but you have for the sake of luxury, and that is the idea. Now, the 51111 has some other tricks up its sleeve. Once you get through the peripheral refinements, the movement itself features a number of IWC innovations. First and foremost, the longtime Peloton bidirectional Paul-based winding system used by IWC since 1950. It's one of the most elegant and most efficient and enduring automatic winding systems in the industry. Winding in both directions, there's essentially no direction in which the very substantial winding weight of this movement is freewheeling, essentially unloaded by the resistance unit, meaning that it doesn't have that value wobble that you get in watches famously equipped with the unidirectional winding 7750 movement and other unidirectional winders, to be fair. So it's balanced in both directions, big but refined, and that goes for the winding mass and its movement as well. Now, the other nice thing about this watch is it is built like a sports watch movement inside as well as the outside with a free-sprung balance and a Breguet overcoil hairspring. So with the free-sprung balance, you have resistance to shock-induced variation. With the Breguet overcoil, you have excellent resistance to positional variation, crown up, crown down, dial down, crown, uh, dial up. So regardless, really, of how you leave this watch resting on your dresser at night, IWC has engineered in that resilience. And speaking of resilience, fully wound, this watch will run for 168 hours or seven days. So if you do have a collection of watches, perhaps the other seven issues of the IWC Saint Exupery tribute models, you can put this one down for a little while and it'll continue to maintain time, it'll continue to maintain its beat, and it'll be ready for you to pick it up, whether you pick it up after a long weekend or a long week. It's nice to have a watch that doesn't need perpetual minding when it's not on your wrist. Now, that long power reserve actually understates the capability of this movement. IWC engineered it to provide eight days of power reserve, but in as much as the watch was accurate for seven of those eight days, IWC engineered in a lockout unit. So when the mainspring winds down from seven days to the one remaining residual day, it will lock itself first. So when it starts back up, it will be maintaining good time. It won't be attempting to keep time in that last day of power reserve. And also, because it does always retain that extra day's worth of energy, as soon as the winding rotor moves, essentially as soon as you pick it up, that triggers the operation of the watch. So even when the watch is at a stop, pick it up, it should immediately start beating again. That's sort of the two-pronged logic of the lockout feature of the 51-111 movement. Now, everything about this IWC Big Pilots watch, St. Exupery, reference 5421, in rose gold, speaks to luxury, refinement, and substance. It also has a fantastic backstory with the tale of the man himself. Check it out on our website, Watch You Want, where you can see high-resolution images of this watch. 46 millimeters in the image of the big pilot, dedicated to an extraordinary aviator, inventor, author, and humanist. This is the IWC Big Pilots Watch, St. Exupery, 18 karat rose gold, available on our website, Watch You Want.